Jimmy, what, why do you look so sad today? Sam, I'm sad to announce we've reached the end of the alphabet. <gasps> what, what are we going to do? <laughs> How are we going to unleash all of our zany and, and zippy shenanigans on the world? I don't know, but I'm not feeling very zesty about this week. Hmm. I am feeling zealous about story time though. I think we have to keep this thing going. Okay, okay. I'm happy to keep things going if we can figure out, you know, a way to do a zillion more story times. How about a zoo of story times? Oh, I like a zoo. <laughs> I have a zoo behind me. You do. <laughs> well, I, I'm thinking today's story time, based on your sadness and all of the amazing words we've been using, might be a story time brought to us by the letter Z. <laughs> <laughs> and the zoo thing is correct because there will be story times coming that will all be animal oriented in the next what five weeks yep five weeks yep. of animals and then we'll have a whole other theme that we'll talk about later yep <laughs> all right but as you know before we get started even on our last zooey story time we have to get the wiggles out so if you can help me wiggle your fingers down below Wiggle your toes. My toes don't have anything on them right now because it's warm. It's light. It's lovely out. <laughs> and what are these up here? Wiggle your shoulders. And wiggle your nose. <laughs> and now it's time to wiggle everything. Get zany. Woohoo. <laughs> all right. Now all the wiggles are out of me and I'll be as still as can be as we get zany again. Oh, I wish I'd come up with a different word. Uh, zesty? Zesty again <laughs> with Z story time. <laughs> okay, Sam, you know, not a lot of words start with the letter Z, but many of the ones that do are really great words. I agree. I think Z is better than Y or X because yeah. even though there's not that many words, they're really fun. <laughs> okay. So I've got six items that start with Z. Oh, I'm impressed. Are you ready? I'm so ready. This, the first item is, um, well, some people don't believe in its existence, but I choose to. Zeus? Oh, zero. <laughs> Zero. Like, how are you going to have a little figure of Zeus? Like, it's a theoretical what... thing, the number zero. <laughs> okay, this is a shape. Oh, is that like zigzag? Zigzag. Nice, a double Z in that one. Okay, and then. Whoop. Oh, that's Whoop. so cute. Whoop. A little uh, disembodied zipper. <laughs> it's not zipping anything up, but. You know what I would love to do today is go to the go into the zoo 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 yeah that, it's a beautiful day for it okay um some people hate these especially by late summer but I always find them delicious oh I love zucchini yeah it's zucchini. gotta be I mean it kind of looks like cucumber too but zucchini and have do you ever had chocolate zucchini bread Yes, mm. so good. Mm -hmm. But what I really love about the zucchini is it's about two inches long, which is so unrealistic. <laughs> totally. I remember uh, we have a staff member who used to bring food in from her garden and some of her zucchinis would be like, you could clock a person with them. You know? <laughs> okay, and finally we have such a great animal. Yes, that's, that's the one I thought was gonna come out first, zebra. Well, I like to end with a bang. Nice. All right. Well, we have lots of super high quality Z words we have discovered. So let's put them into action and do a rousing chorus of heckity peckity, the Z version. Okay, so we need a one syllable Z. Hmm. Zorse. Zorse, what? That's not a real word. It is a real word. It's a zebra crossed with a horse. It's a is, that, is that the real thing? Somebody has bred zebras and horses together? Yeah. Huh. Are they striped? There's also zonkeys. No, that's not true. <laughs> Are they striped? They can be, yeah. Huh. 
Zorse it is, children. <laughs> Learn something new in Z story time. Okay, Zorse, <laughs> let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Zorse. 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 Zorse! <laughs> That's a fun word to say. I'm going to be saying that all day long. Okay, one syllable, two syllables. Okay, for two syllables, I got to bust out a zebra. It's the classic Z word, right? Got to yep. bust out a zebra. Okay. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Zebra. 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 Zebra! <laughs> okay, so we did one and two. You got a good the, three Z? I do. Uh-huh. Zorilla. You got all the wild. That's an animal, right? Yeah, it's a striped polecat. Oh, are they like skunks or something? I don't know if they're exactly related, but they're what they shoot out is worse than what skunks shoot out. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen a wildcat or wildcrats with them. Awesome. Okay, so Zorilla. So Zorilla. almost as much fun as Zorse. I don't know. Okay, so Zorilla. Let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee. Won't you say this word with me? Zorilla. Zorilla. So. Zorilla! Oh, that's also <laughs> fun. And it's not a gorilla crossed with a zebra. No, that would be a really, really frightening looking animal. <laughs> okay, so we did one, two, three, and now we're up to four. Um, okay, how about we go like all scientific on this? We've done three animals, right? Okay, so what's the study of animals called? Zoology. Yeah? Yeah, zoology. All right, four syllables. Let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Zoology. That's a big word. Zoology. 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 <laughs> Zounds. <laughs> hmm. Are we up to the story portion of the day? Yes. What we do are, you Sam. have for us? I can't wait. I got to tell you, Z books are not easy. Yeah. You know, I was thinking like, uh, what's that moose one where like zebra just, I can't, oh, A is for moose. That's more of a moose book, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. But I found one that it, if you get scared easily, you're going to want to skip this part. Oh, <gasps> is it about zombies? Face. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, I can't wait. Cool. Hi, everybody. It's time for today's story, which is Zombies Don't Eat Veggies by Megan and Jorge Lacerra. First of all, some excellent end papers. Zombies Don't Eat Veggies. Mo was a zombie with a deep, dark craving. It was dreadful, devious, absolutely despicable. Mo loved to eat vegetables. He grew all kinds of veggies in his hidden garden. And then in his secret kitchen, he crafted celery, tomatoes, and carrots into delicioso meals that he devoured with delight. Mo's mom and dad did not love vegetables. Not one bit. Veggies were yucky, disgusting, chaosco. They were not allowed at the Romero's dinner table. Ready to chase some humans in the mar marathon next week, mijo? Zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine like brain cakes, brain stew, and brain and bean tortillas. Most parents insisted that their niño oh, eat only zombie food. Finger foods, mi amor? Gracias, I'm not hungry. Mo tried to convince his parents, his mom and dad, to give peas a chance. He sneaked in vegetables wherever he could, but Mo's attempts were fruitless. His parents wanted him to accept who he was, a zombie. And zombies don't eat veggies. 
Bo knew he did not like zombie cuisine, and he couldn't imagine letting go of spinach or cucumbers or kale forever. If zombies are only supposed to eat zombie cuisine, Mo started to wonder if maybe he wasn't a zombie after all. Day after day, Mo wondered how he could make his parents understand his love of veggies. His tomatoes were tantalizing, his cucumbers crispy, the peppers perfection. Add onions, some garlic, a touch of cilantro, and gazpacho! Holy aioli, Mo had an idea, his best one yet. Mo grabbed his favorite book of recipes. His fingers flew across the pages until he found it. The recipe for a tomato and veggie filled soup. He was sure the tomatoes would make it look bloody and gloopy, just like a zombie dish. His parents were going to devour it. Mo chopped and diced, blended and pureed, perfected and poured. Finally, the soup was finished. <sighs> Mo carefully shuffled it over to their house for dinner. Where he found a feast fit for a zombie. Mo, you're just in time. Pickled tongue. Here's pickled tongue. Arroz con spleen. Famoso chili con ojo. Try some arm panadas, mi amor. Prime cuts. Mira, I made a spicy mayonnaise sauce. Joritos for dipping. And arm panadas. I made something for you to try too. It's called blood bile bisque. Bon Appetit gave it five brains. Smells strange, looks delightful. Cinco brains must be delicioso. They dug in. Mo closed his eyes and sucked in his breath. This was it. They'd savor the soup. They'd ask for moss. Mo imagined breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, all vegetables, raw, cooked, steamed, and fried forever and ever. He saw all his dreams coming true until most parents did not like the soup. Not one bit. Dios mio, this soup tastes like, like vegetables. Yuck! Mo's heart sank to his toes. His plan was a bust. How many times do we have to tell you that zombies don't eat veggies? Maybe other zombies don't eat vegetables, but I do. Mom and Dad, I'm different. But I'm still me, Mauricio Romero, your niño. You're Mo. Mo reminded his parents that he liked chasing humans as they ran in marathons. And he promised he'd always cheer for dad during championship brain eating competitions. He also loved doing the zombie shuffle under the moonlight with mom. He was a zombie, a Romero. He just liked to eat vegetables. Mo's parents loved their son and finally accepted that it was okay to be different. They even promised Mo they would eat more veggies for him. Fried fiddlehead ferns, artichoke hearts and elbow macaron, patacones, but only a teeny tiny bit. Ears of corn with dead sea salt and butter. Be still my hearts of palm chopped salad. The Romeros knew that most zombies don't eat veggies. But they were more than zombies. They were a family. 
And that is the story of Zombies Don't Eat Veggies. <laughs> it's a good book. <laughs> there are not enough zombie picture books out there. I'm impressed that you found a really high quality zombie picture book. We need more. Okay, so we did zombies. And now for the song, we're going to zoom. Ooh. I have a song all about zooming to the moon, which I love. It's one of my favorite finger plays. And so we're going to go like this. Let me zoom up to the moon. You guys can all do that, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to zoom, zoom, zoom. And then we're going to climb aboard our rocket ship. A little fine motor skill practice right there. Yep. And then we're going to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. And when, when we get down to the end of the countdown, we're going to go blast off. And you're going to jump as high as you possibly can into the air. Okay. Amy and I will stay in our seats. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't see us in frame, but you jump as high as you can into the air. Okay, so it goes like this. It goes, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take the trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two... One, blast off! <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time. Okay, we'll do a, a little bit faster. Okay, a little bit faster? Okay. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take the trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Should we do it one more time? It super is a fast. rocket song. Should we do yeah. it super rocket fun I fast? Think, yeah. Okay, we got to, right? Okay, so super rocket fun fast. Take a deep breath. Get yourself ready. Okay, goes like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Oh, that was great. Is it time to laugh? Oh yeah. Okay. This is, this might be my favorite time because Nick always asks me what the jokes are and he <laughs> always laughs. So, you know, like the Yahoo one, very popular in my household. <laughs> well, I've got, popular. <laughs> I've got three again today. Okay. And I, I think at least two of them will be hits. Okay. Are we starting with the dud or are we starting with the hit? We're starting with the dud. Okay. Okay. Why is letter Z last in the alphabet? Why is letter Z last in the alphabet? Because he's always sleeping. I wondered if it would be something, but I couldn't figure out a good punchline. I can see why that's kind of a dud because you can kind of figure it out, but like doesn't necessarily make you laugh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready for a zinger. I'm ready for a zinger. Okay. Why do zebras have stripes? Why do zebras have stripes? Because they don't want to be spotted. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for number three. It's getting better and better. All right. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Zoom. Zoom who? Zoom, did you think it was? <laughs> hey, that's my favorite. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Amy, are we at the end of the end of the alphabet story times? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, well, let's do our goodbye rhyme. And, and in almost a perfect coincidence, it will be a great way to introduce our next series of story times since we're doing all animal stuff next time. So awesome. Tune in next week for animals, but let's say goodbye the way we always do. It goes like this. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Oh, oh, ee, ee, ah, ah. See you soon, baboon. Bye-bye, butterfly. Let's swish, jellyfish. Blow a kiss goldfish time to shake rattlesnake out the door dinosaur be sweet parakeet let's jam sam let's jam 
We'll see you next week. See you next week.